Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed our little montage of our 2012 accomplishments and projects. Thank you to everyone in the community, um, all of our community partners that helped make all of those projects a reality. Um, we, we can't do what we do without you. So if you are ever interested in volunteering with Rethink or um, want to get more involved, please give us a call or shoot us an email. Um, you can get a lot of our contact information at www.rethinkwinnebago.org or if you're more of a talker as opposed to a typer, you can give us a call at 232-3000. Uh, so thank you. Um, joining me now is Rethink's newest um, staff member, our coalition coordinator for the Drug-Free Communities Grant. Her name is Heidi Keating and she joined our staff in December um, and will be overseeing some of our drug and alcohol youth prevention related initiatives. So um, it's great to have you on board, Heidi. I want to give you an official Emily. thank you and a, not a high five because we're in <laughs> influenza season right now. All right, um, so can you tell us a little bit about yourself, Heidi? We want to get to know you a little bit more. Sure. Um, I'm local. I was born and raised in Nina, Wisconsin. Uh, graduated from Nina High School way back when. Um, went to UW-Madison with a um, degree in anthropology. Uh, then had to leave the state for a bit. I went to um, Alaska. Um, so moved out there, lived there for 10 years. Um, the kids were born in Alaska. Um, you know, went out there with a backpack and left with um, two cars and two kids. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of life change there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, from there, uh, we moved to Tallahassee, Florida, and lived there for about four and a half years, and then back to Wisconsin, so we came full circle. Excellent. So um, you have a degree in anthropology, and you've been all over the, all over the place. So what did you do in Alaska? Like, what brought you over there? And anthropology degree, no kids and whatever, and now, what happened up in Alaska? Alaska is a great state. Um, it's just very adventurous, lots to do, um, so I did a lot of different things from working at a ski resort to cooking to um, working on an EPA funded grant, um, looking at rural communities and the cleanup of formerly used defense sites, um, oh. yeah, from uh, World War II times and so that's really kind of where I got my um, start with public health and working with communities um, and uh, it was just a really great experience. Um, it was uh, kind of a temporary position because of the grant nature of grant work. Um, then uh, worked also at a small clinic um, at the foot of the ski hill where we saw all sorts of interesting injuries uh, living in Alaska from um, dislocated shoulders to fish hooks in the hand and that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> Not stuff you generally see in, in you know, Wisconsin. Maybe so, <laughs> um, so what? So you were in Alaska for uh, a good chunk of time doing lots of different things and then, then decide to pack up and go completely across the country and the continent to the other side. So um, what did you end up doing in Florida for a while? In Florida, um, I learned about um, hurricanes and disaster preparedness. Um, you know, some firsthand experience there. I was there in 2004, 2005 when the big hurricanes, um, in 2004 there were four hurricanes that hit uh, Florida. And then 2005, um, Hurricane Katrina hit uh, the Gulf Coast and uh, New Orleans. Um, so, you know, just kind of uh, learn through experience and um, also, I worked uh, for the State um, Department of, of Health in, in Florida. I lived in Tallahassee, and um, so it's a big you know, state office. Um, worked in the Office of Performance Improvement, worked on the, um, Florida has, uh, we worked on a statewide initiative on performance management for uh, the county health departments. Um, so it was just a you know really great experience working um, you know getting more experience learning about public health uh, at the state level county level that kind of thing and um, you know it's just really where I that's where I wanted to be and working in the field of public health so then what brought you back to Wisconsin mostly family and climate I mean Florida is a uh, uh, hot and hotter um, Wisconsin has four <laughs> Alaska, seasons cold and, and colder <laughs> yeah so we were looking for four seasons instead of two and um, and yeah, we knew that you know we're kind of we're northerners at heart and wanted to move back and you know be closer to um, our family and we have two kids and you know this area of Fox Cities Nina um, is a great place to raise a family excellent so 
um, you, you, you bounce all over the place. You've got lots of different experiences, which is great in the world of community collabor collaboration and, and partnerships and things because um, the experiences people gain and, and um, you know, the connections that they make are, are so valuable when it comes to um, doing this type of public health work. Um, in this community collaboration, community coalition kind of setting. Um, so what, um, how did you become interested in um, working with Winnebago County Health Department and with Rethink as a, a community coalition um, coordinator, health educator, um, grant coordinator kind of person? <laughs> Well, you no guys, one usually goes yeah. to school for that. <laughs> well, you guys have done such a great job with Rethink, and I feel like I have you know big shoes to fill. Um, you've done so much work with the Drug Free Communities Grant. Um, so you know, kudos to you, to Lisa, to you know the the team um, and the coalition. And um, I'm working on a master's in public health, and so my area of interest is health education, um, preventative health behavior and healthy lifestyles and so it just seemed like a great fit um, and I think uh, it's just a, a, a great opportunity to work on um, these kind of issues with uh, healthy lifestyles, uh, reducing underage drinking and substance abuse for you know the youth in this community. So the big question then, so specifically um, you're, you're going to be coordinating or heading up um, a lot of our efforts related to um, drug and alcohol abuse, especially in, in the, the, the realm of youth prevention. So um, what do you think, um, you know, from, from personal experience or from, um, you know, research that you've done or more importantly probably talking with some of our, our coalition members, what, what's on the horizon for alcohol prevention as it relates to um, youth in Winnebago County? Well, you know, we're, we're making progress and I, you know, it's, it's kind of slow to, um, to change uh, cultural beliefs and attitudes and that kind of thing and so that's one of the areas that we're working on. Um, you know, the kids in Winnebago County are really smart kids. Um, most of the kids are, you know, in middle school are not using drugs and alcohol. Um, the kids in high school, are the, the rates are decreasing slowly, and so that's a good sign. Um, they have, the kids are smart, they have great parents, they have community support. So we're trying to build those kind of protective factors as well as, um, you know, reduce opportunities for kids to get access to alcohol and other drugs um, and to work on um, explaining to kids that really most kids aren't using drugs and alcohol and um, you know to kind of challenge some of our cultural beliefs that are strong in Wisconsin that kind of need to be changed. Yeah and, and you know behavior change and, and kind of changing cultural norms is something that it takes a long time, so I hope you're in it for the long haul. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, you just think of things that public health has done. You know, I mean, I used to put baby oil and on and lay out and suntan and that kind of thing. But today, we know a lot more about sun damage, and um, so we do a lot more protective things, and we wear sunscreen and that kind of thing. And so we're kind of along those same lines, you know, talking about responsible drinking and and reducing binge drinking and that kind of thing. We just know more today. We know more about how alcohol affects the teenage brain and you know so we have to act on that. Excellent well thank you Heidi I'm really glad that you're here and I know that um, Rethink will be in good hands um, with with both of us and you'll yeah, be thanks. hosting the show soon <laughs> so I'm also excited for that. Um, that about wraps everything up here for today. Um, we hope you enjoyed the show and we're excited um, to get out in the community and make some some changes and, and implement some solutions to improve the health um, for Winnebago County residents. Um, you can always connect with Rethink on the, our website. Um, you can also check us out on Facebook or Twitter. We also do have a blog, rethinkwinnebago.blogspot.com, so you can check us out there. Um, and that, that pretty much wraps it up. So until next time, let's keep on working to make the healthy choice the easy choice in Winnebago County.